Hello, this is the fourth part of uh, reviewing my rigs. Let's start from the elevator. Uh, it's like medieval or some fantasy elevator that has uh, some kind of 3D turning, very basic with uh, opposite bond that is constrained with a minus 100 value and again the, uh, the mesh would listen to those to those bones correspondingly also these bones uh, are constraining correspondingly the front one are uh, following this bone while the other ones are following this bone uh, these are i keys with one bone uh, with stretch and compress enabled uh, let's see yeah with mix 100% and we also have a pad on each uh, string so this pad actually is bound to this and this bone okay let's yeah this and this bone so they actually bend smoothly the, they make the pad bend smoothly so those two bones are actually part of the i key chain uh, for I key chain for this string. So basically, we have a mesh, we have a mesh, the string, we have bones that actually control this string mesh, and we have a pad that, uh, that those uh, small bones, these ones, are constrained to this pad. They will follow the pad wherever it goes. So uh, uh, like so so and uh, lastly we have two main bones that uh, control the path so the path is bound to this bone this actually allow us to get this kind of effect uh, you can see here with much clean view on the outline view so this actually creates some very realistic uh, view we also can uh, what I did is also I constrained this. Uh, let let me grab this bone. I constrained also this bone, so they, uh, when you move it, uh, the these bones are also uh, coming following the the target. So here is it. You can see it has twelve uh, value of constraint to this bone. Uh, this bone. So. Basically, when you move it, it, this bone follows, which actually contains all those targets. I hope it makes sense. So this is the balloon. Balloon also can be controlled with this main bone or with this, uh, however we want. And basically, that's it for the elevator. Uh, let's see how it animates. Oh, let's fast forward it okay let's see what other animation we have it, it blows and actually it lands okay let's move to the next rig which would be uh, the book okay the book actually is uh, not ideal but it it helped me a lot to do this kind of rig so i have a page i have a path on each side this is very complex again i'm always repeating this but believe me this is performance heavy to use this kind of rigs and uh, on mobiles so be careful when you are using them um, communicate with the team so they know what resources are we using and it's just a book it will be shown in the one sense so if you are going on mobile device better to avoid this kind of rig while on pc i think it would be fine so we have pages uh you know, three pages uh the the i did three so i can maintain the loop because so I, we can see sim simultaneously three pages that will give crazy like a flapping effect of the book when the book opens magically 
but basically they are just copy paste of the previous one so we we can see we can look at one page right now we have um, path on each edge we have bones that uh, aligned along the path, uh, mesh uh, edges of the mesh uh, they control the mesh actually let's see so we can see let's see if overview can give us some kind of better view well the edges are controlling and the middle point is controlled by this i think it's uh, pretty logical so it's everything is smoothed so the paths getting controlled by these bones you may see that it gets stretched and it actually the bones are following uh, i tried to do one big path but when i did this these bones were actually following this path too so it was not natural for the paper uh, that's how uh, that's why i created four separate paths and each set of uh, bones on the edge just constrained uh, on this path okay this controls this corner this control this corner and this control this corner of course and we can control the edges as well so this is full control over the page this way i only could do a nice uh, effect of the opening book uh, let me demonstrate this okay so this way when the book is opened and it waits for some action of the player it uh, moves uh, crazily so you you did see one page now you, you can see three pages in action i don't know it it, it really did i really did a lot of uh, hard keys so it's it's not clean on the timeline but you get the idea when you get full control over the page that means you will be king mostly everything so I just wanted to give a nice look on the book so that that was it I think uh, let's check up animations so it closes and folds on the table and here we have the opening animation like some shaking floating and finally opening which will be followed by the opened loop which i showed you here and that's it uh, i will prepare more rigs for the next part of the rig review thank you